Hello, hello, can you hear us out there wherever you are? How are we in? How are we not? I think we may be live, but I'm gonna need you guys in the chat room to let us know can you see us? It's very difficult for us to know here whether or not you're reaching us. All we've got, we're surrounded by technology, lights, and computer screens, but we don't know if we're live yet. So, Come on guys, let us know in the chat room if we're live. I, I think, think we are, I think we are. So, ah. guys, welcome, 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 welcome to Mayleaf sessions number two. two. It's Saturday night and we are gonna get yeah. our tea session on. So, welcome, I think this is, you know, this is a really great opportunity for us to gather tea heads from around the world let us know where you're watching from. So go down in the comments uh, in the chat um, room. Let yes. us know where you're um, tuning in from and which tea you are brewing today. Yeah. We want to know. We want to know what's happening. You can also start sending your questions um, over. Celine is going to be um, hitting um, uh, all of those and trying to trying to pick out some. It's going to be fast and furious as usual, but yeah. um, hopefully. Um, we'll be okay. Is it all good? <laughs> we're, we're live? Yeah, it's all good. Everyone's saying it's good. Nice Thanks, one. Guys. Please let Sorry. us know in the chat room if, if the quality suffers. I hope mm. that, you know, the sound is good, the quality is good. Any issues, just let us know. We'll try and pick up on those if possible. And for those of you that saw me go live for about two seconds today <laughs> while I was testing out the equipment, I do apologize, but I think that I caught that one quite quickly. Wow, we've got people from all over the world. So, man. let's do some shout outs. TKO from Bremen, Germany. Aries. Earth Angel, I'll read it from this side. Yeah, yeah, Boris maybe. Martin, Ted Bear, Andrew Lovely. I like loose tea, so do I. Temple <laughs> Goddess, Alex, Jacob, Dot, Raquel, Kayla. Eight, so wow. many people. Wow. So many people. Where's you know what? I think that we could probably challenge, we should contact Guinness Book of Records and see whether or not we what? could get the biggest global tea session together. Oh, yes. Nice. You know, we can do this. <laughs> Definitely we can do this. We can make that the global so tea epic. session. For sure. So what we're going to do today or tonight um, is we are just going to drink some tea with you guys. Um, if it's um, in the, if you're in Europe, then it's Saturday night. So this is your Saturday night sessions. This is pretty much what we do yeah. on Saturday nights yeah. anyway. Pretty We're pretty sad people like that. <laughs> no, we, That's not sad. No, no, we, gather, we gather, people, <laughs> gather people together and we have tea sessions long into the night. We're not worried about tomorrow, even though she usually works on Sunday, but yeah. you know, it's okay. Um, so yeah, we have our tea session. So if you're watching from Europe, then happy Saturday night. Let's get the tea session started. If you're watching from the States, then your, t your Saturday night just started early. And if you're watching from Asia or from uh, Australia, then, mm. well, this is your wake and bake, isn't <laughs> this it? This is literally your <laughs> wake and bake. This is your wake and bake. <laughs> then you can get up on a Sunday and start the Sunday very, very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to drink a few different teas. Um, we've Thanks, got I some... like this tea. That's so sweet. Whoa, we've got Thank a super you. chat. Oh my God, I didn't realize that that was going to happen. Thank you. Who, who did that? I like, I loose, like leaf. loose Leaf, Connecticut. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your super chat. That's really, really amazing. Really Thank sweet. you. It's very, very Thank generous. You. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we are um, going to taste some teas. I want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening at Mayleaf, things that are upcoming. Mm. We've got lots and lots of things in, in, in the pipe work. Um, but um, maybe we should start talking about which tea we're going to drink. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, what teas, what tea are you guys drinking out there? I saw there was some Dan Song in there, Royal Peach Orchid, Monaco Boss. Nice. Some White Peony. Hey from Zurich, hey South America, greetings Poland. Um, and if you're caught up in that horrible storm over there in the States, Irma, yeah. stay safe, really, you know, I hope that you can stay safe mm. and it's all going to be good. All right, so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do before we get into questions, and before we get into um, me talking about what's happening at Mayleaf, <laughs> the first thing that we're going to do... Eating a magnum. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a game. We've got um, uh, Malt Geezer here. Yeah. You probably know Malt Geezer. If you didn't, um, 
know about this one already. This is our latest cooked pu'er tea. I'll show it to you here. And hopefully, yeah, the phone is working good. Um, so this is malt geezer. This is our latest uh, cooked pu'er. We've done a video about this, and I know a lot of people out there are already um, enjoying and tasting this. Yeah. And cool. we have here a um, bit of a nondescript cooked pu'er. This was given to us by someone, I think, pretty much to test our palates um, and to find out really what we thought of it. But the person who gave it to us told us it's a really bad oh, cooked pu'er. Thanks, Hayden. That's Thanks, really, Hayden. It's really, sweet. really amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you. Ask a question if you're going yeah. to do a super chat, then we'll definitely answer <laughs> the question. <laughs> okay. So this is um, given uh, to us basically to, to, to wind us up a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think um, so. A bad pu'er, <laughs> and we are going to play a little game of who gets to drink the bad pu'er. So I don't know anything about this pu'er other than apparently the person who gave it to me says it's bad, and you know what? One of the telltale signs, I don't know if you can see, but one of the telltale signs is when you have... Mm some print work done on it. In other words, it's been stamped with some, some artwork. Not always, not always, but a lot of the time that means it's not very good and they're trying to dress up the tea. So we've got eight grams of that tea in here. Can you do mm. eight grams of this or would yeah. you like me to do it? No, that's fine. You've got a scale over there. Oh, perfect. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's... Careful. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's happening um, at Mayleaf and um, get to answering some of your questions. So, some things that are happening at Mayleaf. First of all, it's crazy, crazy busy. We're um, preparing now, believe it or not, for Christmas. I know it's early days, but we have to prepare early. We've got some great teas coming. Um, you've probably seen our um, Japanese uh, um, matcha video, but we've got more Japanese uh, videos coming. We've got some Japanese teaware coming. We've got, um, yeah, some, some nice footage from the mountains. What tea would I drink if I was on death row? <laughs> bring, bring out the weed. Okay, well, it's Saturday night, maybe. Um, so what would I drink if I was on death row? What would you drink if you were on death row? Uh, it'd have to be a pu'er, I think. And at the moment, I would say Monaco Boss. Well, you, but wouldn't you just want to get as wide, would you want to get as relaxed as possible? You'd need to get into a totally zen state, no? Oh, that's true. Uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, think I don't so. know. <laughs> I, I, that's a really difficult question. Probably a really, 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 really strong aged white tea. Anyway, Whoa, so... You're hardcore! Yeah, you might as well go out with a bang. Um, oh my God. So yeah, we're doing uh, Japanese videos. So they're coming up. We've got a really nice um, raw pu'er coming. Um, really, really nice raw pu'er coming. A bit of a weird one, a little bit, um, what would you say? It's, you know what, it's, it really makes me think of an oolong. Like the taste profile is so fruity. Yeah, that it's a bit of an like, experiment, this one. So, so I'm interested, I'm gonna be interested to see what you guys think about it. It certainly might um, upset a few pu'er purists out there, but we'll see. So we've got what? a, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> talk to you about that in a couple of weeks. We've got a raw pu'er coming. Uh, we've got a nice aged raw pu'er. Very, very, very small batch um, that's coming too. Uh, what else? We've got, we've got um, some more uh, t-shirts being done soon for you guys. Oh yeah. Um, and if you've been receiving your orders recently, um, you may have started to notice that we're doing slaps, stickers. Um, so, things like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to do Jolie Oli on this. <laughs> Stay loose. Maybe. We've got some stickers for the malt geezer. Um, we've got tea head stickers. Raquel, of course tea is hardcore, man. Sometimes it's like... So we've got lots of out. stickers coming. <laughs> Um, if you receive your orders and you have stickers and you want to put them up anywhere, we would love to see where you're putting them up. Maybe send us a picture or Instagram, something like that. It'd be great to see where you're putting your stickers and if you like the stickers. Okay, so. Pick mine one. <laughs> go, go a bit closer. Yeah, a mobile like, phone. Finding it so hard to choose which sticker to put on there. 
So that's the tea head stick. I've, my, one tea of head. my favorite ones is this one. I'll show you one of my favorites. Ah, oh, Gaiwan Geek. Gaiwan Geek, baby. Oh, yeah. Gaiwan Geek. There you go. All right, we need to get on with some tasting. And are you going to start collecting questions in case? Because there's going to be um, a lot of... Uh, yes, uh, the stickers are yes. Celine's artwork. Indeed. Thank you, yes. They are her <laughs> artwork, obviously. Um, right, so um, let's see. We've got uh, Malt Giza here, which will break up a little bit. Yes, so sorry. Malt Giza is our um, Gong Ting grade, um, and it's uh, 2012 cooked pua. We're drinking a lot of this recently. Love it. It's really interesting, this tea, because it does give you a little bit of a... It's You know how cooked pua teas tend to be more digesting, relaxing, yeah. but there's something about there's, this tea yeah, that no, gets I you know. a little bit buzzed in a different way to a raw pua. Yeah. I it's, really do like it. It's still relaxing, but it's just more social. And it's just less like, less like, oh, I'm just going to chill now. You know, I think. Yeah. What? How are we going to do this? This we're is gonna, so hard. Yeah, like, we're just going to have to, well, I really want to wash this a few times. <laughs> yeah, can we? Oh, guys, it's got that classic. Funk. Funk. Not in a good way. It's got that classic dried squid aroma. That's when you say squid. I always think it's fishy, but what is it? Uh, okay, squid. give me the kettle. Can we rinse it a few times? You rinse it, yeah. We, <laughs> only once. We'll make sure it's a good rinse. So we'll pour some over there. Did you talk about the game? Sorry, I'm not sure. No, we'll, we'll get um, on to that. So um, if you want these stickers, basically we are just um, putting them free of charge in any orders that go out. We're not selling them, but they are just going to be going out with uh, your orders um, and um, it's Lucky Dip, um, our um, warehouse team, Beth, Gloria and Julian at the warehouse, they're basically yeah. throwing in the stickers and um, yeah, see if you get one that you like. Guy One Geek is, yeah, is a, is a nice one, I, I do agree. Ah, oh, nice. Um... Oh, Ravi already got Guy One Geek, nice <laughs> one Ravi. Uh, put it up somewhere. Let us see what let's let us see where you put it. It would be really nice to, to, to see where you're where you're putting it. Okay, have we washed this one enough? It's not really doing anything. You can see this liquor is not um, changing colour too much. Um, so yeah. Oh hey Jeffrey. <laughs> Just noted. I'm, I'm sorry. Jeffrey, I'm welcome. You know. <laughs> Jeffrey, if you don't know him, you need to get to know Unity guy. Unity guy, man. He's uh, he's doing his his thing on Instagram. Yeah, man. Ooh, really good. Oh my stuff. gosh. Oh no oh, no please. no no no. That guy was right. It is not a pleasant smell. I'm gonna stick my nose into I, this. It's, oh. it's so annoying because cook pua when it's good, it's so good. But when it's like fishy, it's really fishy. And I'm not I'm not a big fish person already. Well, it's that, it's that funky dry fish. I mean, it's so um, ridiculously different. One UT, we're using the Bonavita kettle. And I know that I've been asked to do, I mean, they sent it to me, so I need to do a review. It's a bit bad, actually. They're being very, very patient. Thank you, yeah. Bonavita. We will be doing a review of this kettle, but I think it's, it's safe to say that it's a really good buy. I think it's a good kettle. I mean, I've got some thoughts about it, but we'll do that in a review session. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Malt geezer. Let's let's get back into this. Oh, interesting. It's it's got a little bit more of a um, slightly minty note to it. That's what I thought. It's like mint chocolate. Especially when you smell that one first. It's I like, really don't want to smell that one very much. You have to do it. I smelt it. Loads Where, where's the dice? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to brew these up, and then we've got a dice here, and then Celine and I are going to roll for who gets to drink the malt geezer and who gets to drink the nondescript dried squid. I'm, I've got such bad luck. This is really not... No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. That's not true. With games, you don't. All right, so... Mm. Well, we see. We shall see. Do a slow pour in here, try and break this up a little bit. Just to get out all of that lovely goodness. We're going to brew that one for a little bit longer. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, so... Questions. Any is questions? it true that tea lowers uh, your blood pressure from Frederico? Um, Frederico? Yes, there is enough evidence out there that it has an effect on uh, your blood pressure. 
Um, there are studies that have been done um, both ways and they have been found that some um, teas, uh, very, very few, can sometimes have a very slight increase of your blood pressure, but very, very slight. And the majority, the net result, the majority is a lowering of blood pressure. No doubt about it. Um, the studies that I've read um, clearly demonstrate that if you take tea and you drink tea regularly, it will have a lowering effect on your blood pressure. Not a huge amount. It's not the same thing as you know taking a drug, um, but you know it will have an effect. <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Adriana. I do deserve the good poor. I work all day, although you have to. <laughs> you have to. Well, we're not going to get competitive. No, this. no, no. We're going to let the dice decide. Look at this. It's not even brewing. It's, it's, um, it's one of those. You need to sit for a while, um, and let it, let it go. Okay. Um, yeah, Mishkin's not around. I think he went outside. He likes to roam at night. Let me put that back. So, sorry about that, guys. He, he might he, pop in. He brought in this morning, you, you tell them. A huge pigeon, wood pigeon, you know, but like it was huge. It was, it was so big. If you watch the Malt so Giza video, we were looking at a, a wood pigeon saying, don't stay in this garden because Mishkin will just go he's he's lethal like that he's he will lethal. grab it and he'll drag it through the cat flap this i don't even know how it fits through he must go in backwards right that's what i think he Cut, does he must come in backwards because the cat flap is quite small all right <laughs> this has now been like a two minute brew um so we've got oh to, nice we're gonna have to right so let's compare color can you hold this one up to the camera oh uh, yeah sure uh this one this one so, oh, from looking in the camera, it doesn't look that different, but actually from this side, it does. Yeah, it's very cloudy, this one. Yeah, that one's a lot cloudier. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but you can't really see it. We can see the light shining through it. Okay, okay, so here we go. Oh, you move around just when I'm focusing. I will try not to touch my phone. I'm sorry, but I'm just always paranoid that we are out of focus. Let us know in the chat room if we're out of focus, and then I can <laughs> yes, leave please. that alone. Okay, so. Malt geezer on one side, a Gongting high grade um, Pua tea. Wait. It smells like mint chocolate, malt. Which one did you? Which one? Vanilla, you bit celery. Ooh, I'm getting some more celery in that one. And then this beautiful. Okay, let's try and. Oh, it's so creamy though. Ugh. Oh, it's got such creaminess. It's like have a sniff malty, of, have minty. A sniff of that. No, I smelled it so many times Ooh. already. There's some fruit suddenly coming out of this. Oh, so squiddy, so squiddy, so squiddy. You don't Sorry. like squid? I like squid when it's deep fried and this it's is like not too intense in flavor. If you've ever been to Chinatown or you have a Chinatown near you and or you go to Hong Kong and you know those shops that sell the dried scallops and the dried squid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's got a little bit of Chinese, <laughs> totally let's be fair, it's got a little bit of kind of some medicinal notes a little bit of it's it's not all bad it's just no, got know. that squid yeah. funk just that. all right do you want to roll first highest wins i want malt <laughs> i want malt two <laughs> yes i told you i'm not good Wait, i could, I could roll a one i could roll a one i could roll a one i get so addicted to five game. enjoy yeah. enjoy all cheers right. everybody cheers to something better than what i'm about to drink it might be good who knows malt cola floats for those of you who have a malt geezer yes the earth is there <laughs> yes the wood is there but i don't know why but i just always get this same flavor profile malted cola vanilla floats delicious how's yours lucky you mine tastes like dust and Squid, dried squid and dust again. It's like it tastes really dusty, basically like. But not too bad then, just dusty. No, no, no. It's that it's that fishy it's that fishy aftertaste that lingers in your on your tongue, and I just I, I don't like it. You this is this you is, didn't drink hardly. This any. is why people don't like cooked poor. You know when you try something. I like know. This. There's a lot of this stuff out there. I think that's why um, this uh, this guy. Uh, and if you guys want to send us some of your like really, 
like worst tea. We could do this more often. We could do little drinking games more often um, with some uh, really bad tea out there. Uh, thanks, thanks guys for the. But it needs don't send us tea bags, please. Just like send us some like things that are interesting. Yeah. If if, if you want to. Um, you got to finish your drink. No. Yes, it's a cup each. That's the rules. I think you just meant to taste it. No, <laughs> it's a cup. It oh, looks really cloudy. If I'm sick, then it's, it's no. It's not going to make you sick. How do people know how dust tastes? That's true, um, but I think it's more um, you know what dust smells like, and therefore you are kind of associating that with taste. All right, let's roll again. Finished. I go first. Four. Okay, come on. Beat a four. Come on, give me a six. Sorry. No. Sorry. We're live, no swearing. <laughs> a three. I we won't do this too long. We've got some other teas, but okay. I thought it'd be quite fun while we're Cheers. asking questions. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> Give her a break, Jennifer. Listen, oh, Jennifer, this is, this is, you know, when you sign up to a game, you signed up to this, right? Yes, I did. I kind of thought maybe my luck would be like quite good today for some weird reason, but in the morning, <laughs> oh, things are like that. <laughs> Shilo, you know how it is. Nothing worse oh, than myself. musty and scooty poor. Absolutely. Okay. Mok Giza. I burnt my tongue. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, it's um, interesting. There's a kind of mintiness that I had not picked up on this tea yeah, before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have a sniff. I'm going to have a sniff of your... Yeah, it just... Mm. It smells vaguely of sweaty gym socks. Like, oh, here. Man. When you say the taste profile, it's even worse. I mean, it was really bad before, but now it's like, oh, great. I'm going to smell socks in my mouth. Dirty socks in my mouth. Four. What did you get? I didn't didn't no. roll yet. So four, and I roll a five. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do this. No, no, I'll... no. That's no, fine. We're playing this game. Yeah. Wait. How many are we doing? Out we'll, of five. We'll finish these 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 pictures, and then oh. go for another round. No. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Let's ask some questions. Let's answer some questions yeah, yeah. rather than. Okay, do you guys, what do you guys think about Ti Guanyin? Because it's my favorite oolong from Bali, Baliha. Uh, Baliha. Baliha, we love Ti Guanyin. And if you haven't seen our Ti Guanyin um, video where we go into China and we show you how Ti Guanyin is made, then check that out because it's a, it's a nice um, intro to Ti Guanyin so you can really understand, you know, the, the because Ti Guanyin is one of those teas, isn't it? That's just ubiquitous, it's everywhere, mm. and everyone calls it Ti Guanyin. Um, and you know, there's so much of it being produced. Remember, we went to that market yeah. in 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 China. We didn't actually show it. Didn't make the cut of Did the not? no. It didn't make the cut. Oh. But if you look at the beginning oh, really? of the Tie Guanyin video when we're doing a montage, you see this massive market, and there's thousands of people, thousands of farmers, all with their sacks of Tie Guanyin, and they're all trying to sell Tie Guanyin. There's so much Tie Guanyin out there, so it really pays. I um, mean, really, you you'll get rewards if you learn the different terminology, try and understand the differences between the Tie Guanyins and uh, how to find out the good stuff because otherwise it's a, it's, there's just so much of it out there. And they're really tricksy, those farmers. Yeah. They, put, they, they put the top layer of that sack is not their Tie Guanyin. It's yeah. like premium Tie Guanyin. But when you dig deep below, that's when you find their Tie Guanyin. So when you buy the sack, the top layer is not the safety. How the cheeky layer. is that? It's really, really tricksy. So you've got to be very, very careful. Jermaine, when is our uh, Japanese teaware arriving? Our Japanese teaware is arriving. Um, well, it's in stock. Um, so we're, we're going to try and get the video edited. We're probably going to put the teaware up before the video. So it might be even tonight or tomorrow that the Japanese teaware will be up. Cheers. Okay, no, I, I, I'm now starting to feel sorry for you. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I'm going to try it. I'm going to put myself through this. Dirty socks. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? Let's try and... 
Can I have the Morgiza now? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> this is not a very fair <laughs> dice game, but you know what? I don't care. Here you go. Okay, let's try and taste this now. Cheers. The, po ah. the, the positives. It doesn't, it's not too strong. <laughs> You know, it's it's quite a weak tea. You're a very nice person, I think, to this tea. I just it's, it's just, actually it's, it's okay. I, I'm getting the squid. I'm getting the Chinese herbs, dangue, angelica root. Mm. I'm getting um. Okay, yeah, but the aftertaste is really that's it. That's, it, 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 it definitely yeah. comes back. Mm. The aftertaste <laughs> is sweaty. Socks. Yeah. It's really sweaty yeah. socks. Yeah. <laughs> sweaty socks. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Sweaty, really wet, sweaty socks. And almost like it's been when the socks have been left out, so so they've been wet for too long. You know that when you've left mm -hmm. when you've forgotten clothes in the washing machine, it's oh, got that I little bit smell. of that. Yeah, it's that not a nice smell. Not dried quickly. Yeah. It definitely returns on you. Oh, it's not pleasant at all. Can I finish? <laughs> oh, it's not pleasant at all. That guy who gave it to us definitely knows his bad, <laughs> knows his bad tea. Oh, it's all right. It's a little fun thing. It's got something else. Mm. It's squid? No, it's not squid. It's, it's very animal. There's some animal note to it. That's you know? why the sweatiness comes through, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's that kind of, it's that kind of, oh, oh. Uh, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, so if because this is made out of like leather, right? Uh, this little cup, this dice cup, is made out of leather, and I you never know. Never realized how stinky that was. And you know that leather, that funky. Ooh, yeah, it's very very similar to that, um, to the to the inside of leather. So not the outside, but the inside of leather. You know that smell. I don't know if you know that smell. Maybe I'm putting. Or if you have a Stone Age um, uh, game, smell it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Stone Age. Game. Stone yeah. Age. I think you said Stone a game. No, no, no. Stone, <laughs> Stone Age a board game. Stone Age board game. It's very okay. fun game. Um, should we should we save this for? Um, do you want a little? I think what we should do is we should. Yeah. Let's let's. Um, that's Actually, nice. let's let's brew up let's brew up another round of more pizza. Yeah. Get the kettle up. Uh. And we'll answer some more questions. Any more questions? Can you get food poisoning from weirdly ripened pua? Well, yeah. I mean, um, you know, there, when when you ferment something. Really? I could have gotten food poisoning. No, before. when you ferment something, th there's lots of um, fungal activity, and there's lots of. Fungal activity really sounds bad. There's lots of fungal yeah. activity and there's bacterial activity, and that's the fermentation process. So that's what's mm. happening when when aged, when raw tea is 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 aging, and also the pile fermenting phase of cooked pu'er tea. So yes, you can get, and clearly there are some funky um, fungi, funky fungi, funky um, in <laughs> in this tea, and they can produce mycotoxins, which can you know, be not great for you, but not in, in huge quantities and nothing that's going to harm us with these two. It's just more the flavour is not really good at all. Yeah. The different kind <laughs> of funguses <laughs> can be in poo. Yes, lots of different types, um, lots, hundreds of different types of fung fungi in, uh, in, in ripened poo. Just, you know, but it's the same as all fermented things, you know, you've got your kombuchas and kefirs and you've got all your cultures. Yeah. There are lots and it, it exists in the raw leaf, you know, the raw leaf have microorganisms on them. And that's why the processing of puerti is fundamental because you need to make sure that you, you preserve that as much yeah. as possible yeah. in order to allow that aging process to happen. So, you know, it's, it's, it's part of nature, part of the, the raw leaf. Yeah, true. Um, <clears throat> okay. Any other questions? Yeah. There's um, so many coming in. Guys, if you can think of a better way for us to answer these questions, please do help us because there's so many coming in that it becomes a... I'm so, I'm so sorry if, if we, we miss your question, which is highly likely. Uh, 
Palau, we're drinking a uh, malt geezer pua, a cooked pua tea, a gong ting grade, very nice, high bud uh, content um, tea, 2012, um, and it's one of our uh, favorite teas at the moment. And it does give you a little bit of a, I would say, a settled, but um, quite, um, quite nice, slightly um, upbeat high. Okay, what about these ones? These cool Wow, ones. black, black, black. How long did we brew this for? A long time. I, I, I was going to do it and then I looked at the questions. Yeah, and okay, then I well, this is good. We're going to get a strong hit. So, Saturday night, tea shots, everybody. Charge your glasses. What are you drinking? Let us know. Charge your glasses, drink along with us. Yeah, man. Um, would you expand the number of... Uh, Mayleaf stores, if so, where about? Would we expand the number of Mayleaf stores? Um, I would love to. Uh, quality control is is the most difficult thing. I've been running business uh, this business um, for for twelve years, and I know how difficult it is to get good quality control, making sure that it's consistent all the time. Um, uh, you know, really, what you need to do is create a franchise model in order for for that to work. And franchise models tend to work on kind of manuals that you pass around and everyone needs to learn a certain way of doing things, which is why the franchise model, like the McDonald's KFC model, it's very, very particular. It's all timed, it's all about machinery, it's all about that. But tea is not really like that. Tea requires the brewer to, to adjust <laughs> parameters. The tea, tea requires you know, people who are passionate about it. So I would love to open more Mayleaf stores, but I'm very conscious of quality and I want to make sure that if we do that, it's done in the right way. And if we do, where would we do it? Clearly, there are some markets out there that are, you know, big markets for us. Um, this, you know, the States is a big one. America! Um, Canada, Australia. Um, I, I know a lot of people from Mexico are, are yeah, loving true. our stuff. Denmark, apparently, I'm being told that the, the, oh, the Danes are, uh, love the Danes. They're, they're, they're um, really kind of enthusiastic. And lots of, lots of European countries. So it's kind of, it will be difficult, but it will be, it's more about yeah. finding the right people rather than the right country. Lucy's you know? in Denmark. Lucy's in Denmark. If you're watching Lucy, hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's have a nice strong shot of milk, Giza. Sweet, thank you. So strong, but so smooth. Zero bitterness. It's just like... Velvet. So easy. Like, it's such a delicious tea. And I actually like it, this strength. Mm. This strength is... Has anyone tried brewing beer with tea? And if that could work. Brewing like beer with, with tea. tea. I feel like someone said it to me before, that they have tried it. I have I not know. experienced that. I've not um, had any beer infused, uh, tea infused beer. I feel like that um, beer place, you know, around Camden, I can't remember what it's called, but I feel like they had one. Yeah, Toronto would be a good place. Stevenage, Toronto or Stevenage? That's <laughs> 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 the choice. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco, Mars, yeah. Transcript Junkie is in the house. Hello, Hello Transcript Junkie. Hello. He's the guy all the way over in the, the east, you know, he's, he travels around, but he's our transcriptor. He's the person who makes sure that our YouTube videos all have writing eventually when I get a chance to upload them. I know, I know, Transcript Junkie, I'm not good enough at doing it, not fast enough at doing it. But, um, you know, thank you for all your hard work. And I know that you're drinking Jade Star, right? I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Uh, any of these? Would you like to Don, them? have you ever done <laughs> mushrooms? I wonder what you're asking me. I've <laughs> eaten lots and lots of mushrooms in my time, from the culinary to beyond. Um, yeah, I've tried mushrooms before. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting because I was actually looking up fungal content in Pua recently. This is the kind of thing that I do. Um, mm -hmm. And there are <laughs> strains of fungal, uh, f uh, fungi in, um, in Pua, yeah. which are of the same family as um, um, the family that uh, 
that leads that that LSD is derived from. I'm not saying there's LSD in Pua, but it's interesting that it's really really, really close in terms of the family of, of fungi. So Ooh. I wonder if I'm sure that more research, if more research was done, more would be found out mm. about this. That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, you can get tea drunk on tea. But this is a really interesting one. I really feel this sense of mm. kind of it's a weird combination. It's like settled but uplifting at the same time mm. it's a really really interesting combination true very true um <laughs> katie t videos oh yeah katie nice hey. one katie um transcript junkie terence mckenna okay are we gonna go down psychedelics everyone wants to talk about psychedelics it seems in the in, <laughs> in the chat room <laughs> jeffrey been there done that i'm sure you have jeffrey i'm sure you have um, details on the Gong Fu Guru too. Um, yes, uh, we are having trouble in China. Mm. There's big trouble in big China. Really? Um, well, it's nothing, nothing wrong with the Gong Fu Guru, but um, the Chinese government has shut down postage. No. Yeah, they've shut down postage in a really because they. I didn't know. Whenever China has a big international conference, then like they make sure that they. They, organize they organize it, they shut down factories, they shut down, to, I think it's to try and kind of reduce pollution in the cities. I think it's also to do with making sure that um, the officials can get around easily. Uh. So basically they just, the government just pushes a button and essentially all uh, deliveries get shut down. So the, the different suppliers that are making the different parts of the Gong Fu Guru have all of them ready, but we need to get them all in one place oh, before gosh. we can ship it to uh, the UK so we have them they're all ready they've been sitting for about three weeks oh and I've been waiting gosh. for the Chinese government to lift the ban on the no um, on the movement of the goods um, so that's what's causing a delay I expect it to be sent in the next week or so but that means it's going to take another month after that on the ocean to get to us so we're probably looking at about a month and a half before the okay. Gong Fu Guru uh, number two comes out. So China doesn't want to ship things anymore. The factories definitely do, but you know, uh, government wins. Um, okay, so, yeah. Bruno! Know? Bruno <laughs> and Michelle, thank you for joining us. Good old, old friends from Brazil and uh, new tea heads, I think, um, yeah. out there. Brazil's another place we need to work on. You guys need to. To, to, to open a May leaf in, in Brazil. There, there you go, there's a challenge for you. <laughs> okay, so now we should move on to another tea, I think. Yeah. I've gotten my nice little buzz of this um, malt geezer, and that aftertaste has now disappeared. So we're gonna move these out of the way. Move these out of the way, and we're gonna give you guys a choice. So we picked out some teas, and you have to choose which one you would like us to drink. Wait, one second. What? When are we going to do a giveaway of the malt geezer? Oh, yes. Do you guys want some malt geezer? <laughs> if you guys want some malt geezer, we can give away some, um, we'll give away a couple of sample packs. No? Yeah, let's do it. A couple of, so where's that dice? Uh, okay. Who wants malt geezer? You need to let us know. Okay, so. Thanks, Peru, for reminding us. Because <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to give away some more geezer. Um, we're going to do some more giveaways later. So this is what we're going to do, all right? I'm going to count down from 15. Oh my okay? God, okay, let me get ready. I'm going to count down from 15, okay? And what's going to happen is that when we get to zero... Oh, thank you. Who did, who did the... Um... Ah. Super chat. Dan, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Man. when you travel to Asia, do you hire a translator or you do you speak Mandarin? I speak a little bit of Mandarin, enough to kind of get myself around, but I do usually have either friends, or if not, if we're in a province that we don't have uh, friends, then we will hire. Um, it's usually not an interpreter because they kind of don't know anything about tea. We try to find people within the area that know a little bit about tea and can translate for us. 
So it's a bit of a combination of both. And usually we make very good relationships with the right people um, who, who can uh, speak English um, and Chinese, um, and then we use them for, for all sorts of, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you know, it's, 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 it, it we works out well friends. for them. Okay, so we're going to count down from 15, okay? And what you guys need to do is you need to estimate when we get to zero, Celine is going to take a screenshot of the chat room. So we're going to have a list of people, right? Exciting. Who have written the words, I want malt geezer. So you can start to type that in now, right? <laughs> Copy and Don't please. push enter. <laughs> yeah. I want malt geezer. Okay. We're going to count down from 15. She at zero is going to do a screenshot. Hopefully it works with a little pen here. And then we'll have a list of people that we can roll the dice and see who gets it. Okay, so, so we're going to start this. now. Ready? So you need to guess what the time lag is between you pushing enter and it coming in. I have no idea what it is. Ready? Oh my God. 15, 14, <laughs> 13, <laughs> 12, 11, 10. The chat room's going yes, quiet. Right. Nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, Five, four, spelling doesn't matter. Three, <laughs> two, one, do it. Did it? Yes. yes. Okay, so stop now, guys. We'll do more giveaways. Yeah. We have the list. All right, so we're going to pick the last six here. So we've yeah. got dice one to six. So we've got situations elastish. We've got <laughs> Kayla Fisher. We've got Jake. Housed on. We've got Joshua Cornelis, and we've got Jamie Knight, and we've got Amir Steklov. So those are our six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're all in the dice. <laughs> so okay. Good. And the winner is number one. Situations elastish. elastish. Situations elastish. Why don't you write? Yeah. Oh, actually, we've said it, so I can. I can see the recording. So situations elastish. What you need to do is you need to send us a direct message on YouTube to our channel. We'll look it up later. Give us your details. Give us your address. We'll send over a couple of sample packs of malt geezer. Should we do one more? Yes, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Ready? Okay. Guys, you get, you get another chance. And situations elastish. You are now out of the competition. You can enter the next one. Yeah. Ready? So I'm going to count from f from 15 or uh, we'll do 15. Yeah, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. <laughs> this is way nine, too stressful. 8, wait, wait, wait. 7, I think 6, it's... 5, this is a 4, minute. 3, 2, 1, click it. Okay, so did you click it? Click it. Yeah, I did. I did it. Do oh, it. Stop. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We've got this. Right, so we've got Athena Nguyen. We've got Zach. Zach won something from us before, I think. Mm. Danny Padder, Federico, Danny Kotov, and Matthew Mitchell. So one, two, three, four, oh, five. Five, six. Oh, yeah, six. Matthew, All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Number five, who's number five? One, two. No, it starts here. Uh, one, one, two, two three, three, four, five. Daniel Kotov. Yay! Daniel Kotov. We will um, instant message us. Can you make sure we write his name down as well? Yeah. Instant message us and we will send you a couple of packs of um, mm -hmm. tasters of malt geezer to you. Okay, so let's move on to the next tea. And we will be doing giveaways of whichever tea you pick. So pick wisely. So we've got four teas here that we're going to be um, tasting um, or that you can choose. We've got Midnight Sun, which is an oolong tea, roasted charcoal roasted oolong tea from Taiwan, Midnight Sun. I'll tell you a little bit more about them actually so you uh, really know. So this is a Jinshuan, so this is a golden lily, but it's been really deep fired really, really deep fire. Um, we specially ask it for extra deep fire, um, which our producers um, raise their eyebrows about, but we love it really, really deep roasted. 
Next, we've got Cloud Lake. Cloud Lake is an mm. amazing Chinese green tea. Really, really nice, known as Yunwu um, in China or Cloud and Mist green tea. So we've got that one. We have got a Kanaya Midori Sencha. So our latest Sencha tea is here. So Kanaya, Kanaya Midori Sencha here. And finally, we've got a Dan Song, which is Black Fruit Punch Dan Song. Some of you have bought this already. We haven't done a video about it. Black Fruit Punch. We haven't done a video about any of these teas, so I thought we'd pick them out. You now get to choose, and we're just going to do this on the basis of what comes in the chat room the most. So, Midnight Sun, Cloud Lake, you can just write Censure if you want the Censure, and Black Fruit Punch. Black Fruit Punch, Censure, Cloud Lake, Midnight Sun. Let us know which one you would like. We're just going to watch them roll up here and then we're going to figure out which one we're going to be drinking any questions in the are we doing any giveaways on teapots sorry teapots you know what <gasps> really oh well it's saturday night <laughs> we could do you know what yes we will we'll do we'll do it we'll do a giveaway not on a teapot but on the flute brewer oh cool yeah? so we're going to do a flute brewer giveaway um in a little bit okay so What's coming in? Dan Song, Dan Song, Dan Song, Sencha, Sencha, Dan Song, Dan Song, Dan Song, Cloud Lake, Midnight Sun, Dan Song, Dan Song, Dan Song, it's Dan Song, yeah, it's Dan, Song. Dan Song. Okay, so you have picked the Dan Song. You definitely want to get us drunk. Thank you, everybody out there. So we're going to move this away. Yeah. Um, and that means you will be getting some free giveaways of the Dan Song as well. Can you pull up the Master Wu? Master Wu. So we've got the Master Wu teapot oh. here. Let me Some of you already it. have uh, this teapot. Is Wes in the chat room? Oh, Wes, if you're Wes. in the chat room, yeah, say hi. Um, I know that he does. I see your Instagram um, videos quite regularly. We, we, I can see Master Wu's uh, pot. We've got more Master Wu teapots coming in in about two weeks, I think. They're finished, um, so now, again, we're waiting for China, but they're gonna be sent over to us by air. So those ones are coming um, quite soon. Uh, Master Wu is... is <laughs> he's working hard. He's working he? very hard, he's working very hard. So we've got some uh, coming. Uh, no, we're not doing a Master Wu giveaway. Um, that's, a, you know, we, we'll do a big, big giveaway at some point, maybe at the end of the year, but yeah. not, not today. That's quite a big one. All right, so um, Master Wu's teapots are coming. So let's scope this tea. May 2016. This is a May 2016 Dan Song. And this is really interesting because, you know, we're in 2017. We've been purchasing all of the 2017 teas. But this Dawu year, we tasted it. It wasn't, it was, you know, the, 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 the farmer, the producer basically said to us, you need to try our Dawu year. We don't really, I'm not particularly a major fan of Dawuya. I always find that it's a bit weak in taste. Mm. And it's kind of like a medium, medium quality Dan Song in general. Again, big generalization. But generally, I don't purchase Dawuya. I've never purchased it before. He said to me, I've got a really nice Dawuya from last year. And my assumption was, when a farmer says that to me, you're trying to get rid of old stock. <laughs> um, but you know, he was so persistent about it, he really wanted us to try it, so we tried it. Um, and it's not like any Dawa year I've tasted before. Um, it's a lot more, um, got so much more to it in terms of flavor. Um, you can take a look at the leaf here. So nice, nice colored leaves here. The classic Dan Song shape strip oolong. So kind of, what color would you say that is? Hmm. Um. It's, that, it's that, you know when Dansong has this matte, very matte finish, doesn't it? So yeah. it's very matte, almost like kind of metal finish, metallic finish. Yeah, it's like kind a turtle shell. Yeah, she loves to use that one. Yeah, I do. Because that could be that could be, that could be anything. That could be anything. Kind of dark it's turtle and brown. Shell. It's turtle shell. <laughs> brown, green, black. It's turtle shell. Oh. Um, yeah. No, it, it it has turtle shell. It's got some greens. It's got some silvers. It's got a kind of black raisin, raisin brown, black, olive black, kind of olive brown. Oh, you seem much better colors. than me. 
Dirtiest. Um, let's have a sniff of the dry leaf. Yeah. It's been actually a while since I've had this tea. Now, when you're brewing your dan song, that's what I want to see from your teapots. You know, it needs to be peeking out over the top because you know these are these are um, strip oolongs, and therefore they have very um, um, they they take up they take up a lot of room. Um, and so when the water goes in, it will settle down quite dramatically. Let's have a sniff of this. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, oh, wow. So um, mm. the, 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 the malt is, is there, just like the malt geezer, but then you've got cream, you've got some custard notes. It's, it's kind of reminds me of the creaminess of a dog shit. Yeah. At all. So this is what's interesting about this Dao Yeah, is in some ways it's like, it's got the creaminess <clears throat> of a duck shit oolong um, but it's got so much more fruit in this one um, and different kinds of fruit from your Milan Siang Dan Song so different from your Royal Peach Orchids it's, it, it does have flowers but it's, it's, it's got kind of more vanilla notes and I call it black fruit punch because it has these very juicy um, black fruits like plums mm. and mangosteen mm. and tropical fruits Mm. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so let's uh, brew it up. Do you want me to do it while you're asking me questions? I'll do it. Yeah, um, Yeah. sorry about some of the teas being out of stock. Oh, uh, okay. Let's talk about yeah, that. <laughs> the, yeah. Let's talk about the stock issues that we're situation. having. Okay, so the issue that we have with stock is simply this. Well, there's a few different issues. Some of it is, is importing from China. As I said, we're having issues with that. Um, but you know more stuff is coming in yeah. the issue really is um, Getting them packed we've got quite a large range now so getting them packed quick enough so we're having to invest quite a lot of um, uh, Money now into uh, buying new equipment in order to speed up our packing process because We can't pack it quick enough basically um, and, um, and, and it's really bad because, you know, we, we, we're really frustrated that we can't, uh, the stock, the teas that we have in stock in the warehouse, we want to make sure that they're available online. And it frustrates me more than anyone, believe me, when I go and I see online stuff saying out of stock when I know we have stock, but it's just not packed. And I see this massive list in the warehouse with everybody really working hard to try and pack it all. Um, usually, usually pouches are available and the reason for that is because pouch is very easy for us to to pack because we can put it in a pouch seal it put a sticker on and it's ready to go so usually pouches are available um, and so if you want to get hold of a tea i would advise and the pack is out of stock pouches are usually available because we, we can make those to order but the ones uh, that are in packs they take us um, some more time um, to assemble and therefore you know it's 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 um it's harder to keep all of them in stock. I'm sorry, we, we're working on it. Believe me, we are working on it and we're putting a lot of time and, uh, and resources into making sure that we, we improve that. So apologies about that. And in terms of teaware, a lot of the issues um, are fr um, from the, end, uh, the other end in China. Um, and we're working hard, but we're, as always, I wanna make sure that the quality is good we're receiving samples and we're knocking them back. We're saying no, um, and we're just we, we want to make sure we have the right stuff. Mm. Um, and so that means that unfortunately you're going to have to wait. Yeah. But we will. We're working on it. Believe me. Um, um, have a sniff of this. Elliot was asking, uh, "What is the oldest tea you've uh, ever tried, and do you believe Sheng is medic medicinal?" Um, Elliot's um, the oldest tea I've ever tried. <sighs> is a 25 year old Tie Guanyin. 25? 25. 25. You've tasted it as well. Did I? Which one? When was that? In China. This time? No, in, yeah, in China, this time. 25 year old Tie Guanyin. Um, and it is amazing. Um, and I say it is amazing because we managed to purchase some. But oh, it's, uh, okay. It's, it's, okay, it's, okay, uh, it's in our uh, warehouse in China and it will be coming and that's one of those things that's going to be ready for Christmas. Is it? But, Is yeah. it coming back? <clears throat> coming. Didn't we have some that we um, saw the, a 
Oh, no, no we haven't sold them. No, that's a different. You're thinking oh, about God. the you're talking about shaking nectar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, yeah, 25 year old. Um, and do I believe Sheng is medicinal? Yeah. Um, I, I believe all tea is medicinal. Um, honestly, um, I think that with Shengs you have to be careful, of course, because they are really high in caffeine, higher in caffeine, and they 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 give you this kind of um, rushy feeling. But certainly, there there are health giving properties in Sheng. Whether or not it's healthier than, uh, I mean, I would suggest that ripe puers are probably uh, healthier, or they've at least been shown and proven to be healthier than shungs, or more research has been done on them, but I do think shung is medicinal, I think all teas are medicinal, um, and everything, just like any medicine, it's about consuming it responsibly, and, you know, making sure you don't um, overdo anything, vary your tea habit, yeah. they yeah, right. We tried a 40 year old Dan Song. Good oh, call. yeah. Good call in Thailand. Sorry, yes, That's you're true. right. We're That's wrong. That's true. That was very yeah. interesting. This. <laughs> yes, you're right. You see, you need to remind us of what we've tasted. All right, let's have a sniff of this. So I get roses, but really sweet, creamy oh, roses, yeah. not the citrus roses. Zesty roses are not part of this. This is much more sweet. It's It's got the sweet yellow roses. It's got some um, mangosteen. I get so much mangosteen here. That tropical, very sweet, slightly, you know when a, a, a fruit is starting to just get to that point where it's like the perfect ripeness and it might be starting to go over slightly, you know, really, really fragrant, really, really aromatic. Any of, any of you who have purchased a black fruit punch, let us know what you think, but I think it's a really, really fruity, fruity tea. Ah, oh, it's great to have a tea session with you guys too. Thanks. <laughs> I do get the cherry notes of a duck shit oolong, but it's less of fresh cherry. It's more of cherry sweets. It's kind of like got a slight, you know, that kind of when you have those boiled cherry sweets or those boiled um, sweets that are good for your throat, oh like God. slightly medicinal, a little yeah. bit medicinal. It's got that, that kind of um, boiled uh, cough sweet kind yeah. of taste. The cherry one. The cherry one. The cherry one. It's, it's, I oh love God. the aroma of this tea. Gosh, it's so good. I love it. Juicy, juicy aroma. It makes my mouth salivate. Okay. Uh, do it. Sweet. Is it really hot, yeah? Yeah, very hot. I just heated it up And again. pour it over again. And when the um, pot is completely dry, that's when it's ready. See, look at it going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Ah, uh, yeah. Sweet. Not quite. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I love the pour of this <coughs> Master Wu pot. Uh, so you can see the liquor colour here. How are we doing guys? Are you still with us? We're an hour in. Cherry bomb. <laughs> We're not planning to go anywhere, but you know, I hope you're with us. So this is um, a lovely golden whiskey kind of golden colour, isn't it? Yeah light whiskey like um those light um like oban you know the lighter oh, whiskies yes. or those glenfiddich whiskies really nice. not not and you know not none of these caramel colored whiskies which are all fake colored um and i'm starting to really like make sure when when you purchase whiskey make sure you get un uncolored whiskey uh it, it's just it's a different uh, mouth feel so how much how much water is, fits in that it's just over 100 i think 100 and 110, Anthony. I, I think I can check. Well, I think it's around that. I'm not going to start going online. All right, so we've <laughs> got these little weird cups, which I actually haven't used before. So these are the sniffer cups. Interesting, kind of urn shaped little sniffer cups. We're going to put the um, drinking cup on top and then we're going to flip. I've done it already. I flipped you. Oh, did you? Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Did you want to flip it? I did. I like well, flipping it. I'll flip it. it back. Oh. Here you go. Well, you know, it wasn't, wasn't necessary, but all mm, right. Go for it. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. Mmm. Pick up more minerality yeah, in the cup. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Sorry. I'll, no, I'll I like up. it. I like it. It's fine. I'm just slower than you. <laughs> but yeah, definitely more minerality. This, when you smelt through the wet leaves, it was more 
yeah, cherry, that cherry cough syrup, when you said that, it was yeah. instant. But um, now, now, once the minerality disappears, you really get... I get, like, date syrup? Date syrup, yes, yes, mm, yes. Really sweet, syrup. super, super mm. sweet. Very, very delicious um, um, smell. Really, really bursting with aroma. The colour is this beautiful golden amber. Delicious. Oh, um, yeah, Eastern Beauty. Uh, this is a question. I saw a little comment. Do we watch yeah. Ralphie? Yes, Ralphie. Oh, love oh I Ralphie. love Ralphie. Love he's Ralphie. So good. <clears throat> yeah, he's great. He's really, really. His good. tasting notes are so cool. Like, yeah, oh, the, I the, wish the, I could describe stuff like the, that. The guy's got skills, definitely. He's got skills. The guy's got skills. Where's your ring, Don? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a ring. <laughs> are you talking about wedding ring? We don't do rings. We do. We got the necklace. We have these. Ugh, like, <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have it on, that would be reverse. This is from the Qing Dynasty. This is oh Emperor Qianlong um, pottery, um, porcelain, um, and it was from the same pot that yeah. broke. Um, so the, the, the fragments um, yeah. were then taken and made into necklaces. So we've got Qing Dynasty pendants. That's what we have. We don't do rings. Okay, taste your tea. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everybody. Texture, light, light to medium, not super thick, very refreshing. I still find it thicker than say like a, like a green tea or something, like it's still got, it lingers, you know? But it's like the minerality lingers and then you've got the, the syrupy sweetness. It's changed a bit though, the syrupy sweetness. It's no longer date and it's more, almost mentally. Mm, it's got more know? freshness, more doesn't freshness it? More freshness to it, yeah. It's very juicy. Mm. And it's great because oh, you know how dance songs have this very cutting, um, distinct, <sighs> quenching sensation. So much so that a lot of the time people, I should leave that off, um, people um, can sometimes overbrew dance songs and it can be mm. a bit of a fiddly tea and you can have too much of that mineral dryness. Yeah. Obviously brewing in a, in a chow chow clay pot helps to soften and smooth that. But this Dawiya has a kind of slight, I mean, it does have that, but it has a real butteriness as well to it. It has a kind of almost pastry butteriness yes. to it as well. Definitely. Which pastry is really, really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Bananas. I'm getting bananas. Yeah, I was trying to figure, I think it is like a ripe banana. Slightly overripe. Yeah, slightly overripe banana. Slightly overripe banana. Very, very sweet tasting and tea. And pine nuts. I get a little bit of pine nut. And I don't know if it's because of my um, mm. record days. Um, transcript junkie, don't get too drunk too quickly. Oh, it's 4.30 a.m. <laughs> You're whacked you out so on funny. Jade Star. Be careful with that Jade Star. I have had many, oh many God. freaky nights on Jade Star where I literally can't sleep because I'm just like, my head is going um, into, um, uh, into some strange, uh, strange world of thoughts. Um, what was I saying? Uh, Can't remember. Getting wha whacked out on Jade Star. No, That's all that, I remember. <laughs> trans transcript junkie threw me off my train of thought. <laughs> yeah. um, but overripe bananas, exactly. Yes. You overripe get it. bananas. Oh yeah, my record days. That's right. Oh yeah, that is it. I don't know if any, this is, a, this is a reference that I didn't really put in the tasting notes, I don't think, but it's a reference that, um, of resin, um, and not tree resin, but lacquer resin. So when you, when in, in the days when I was making records, you would go and you would get acetates cut. So you would, you would bring your, your, your music to a mastering studio and they would cut the master on an acetate. And then that acetate would then be used and processed to press vinyl. So you would have records. Um, and, um, the acetate, there's a certain um, smell to it, and it sounds like bad because it's a chemical smell, but it's, um, it's, it's got a very rich kind of terpene kind of smell to it, acetate. You've never smelled acetate, I don't think. Acetate? No, like it's a thick one. It's, it's, it's a certain thing that they use uh. for, in the record industry, and it really has this kind of resin acetate kind of uh, taste um, just in there, which is very similar to that kind of overripe fruit. You know when a fruit is yeah. starting to just go over, it kind of has a very rich kind of almost slightly alcoholic kind of alcoholic, kind of, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. slightly kind of alcoholic um, profile thing. to it. And yeah. that's really, really, really nice. 
Yeah, um, Eastern Beauty. Sorry guys, I know you guys are waiting for it, but we didn't find any good Eastern Beauty. Before. Yeah. And Eastern... it's still, it was quite expensive as well. For so Eastern team. Beauty um, was a tea that we had to give up on this year. Um, as I said, we, I, I refuse to stock it unless I love it. Um, and um, we didn't find any Eastern Beauty this year that we loved. Yeah. Um, and the prices are just getting getting so stupid. It's like, you know, it's it's like people are just saying, well, yeah, it's it's Oriental Beauty, it's Eastern Beauty, therefore it costs. You know, it's just just by name. Mm. It's just got such a, a, a snob value, um, especially Taiwanese. Obviously, you can go looking elsewhere, but if you want Taiwanese Eastern Beauty. Uh, you know, w we've tasted a lot and we didn't find any that we loved. Yeah. Um, and so I don't think it will be here this year. Mm. Um, I'm sorry. But uh, Little has kind of got similar yeah, notes to it. If you, if you really, I really do think that Little Tongmu, a Chinese black tea, um, has very similar flavor profiles to Eastern Beauty. Okay, it's got a little bit more of the chocolate, a little bit, um, and it's, it's, a, it's definitely not the same tea. Um, it's a black tea instead of a, a, a heavy um, oxidized oolong tea, but it really does have some of those muscatel terpene notes that you look for um, in a bug bitten tea. Really, really nice and mm. uh, so much cheaper than, than uh, so much more affordable than um, Eastern Beauty. So we didn't find it this year. Mm. We will obviously keep looking and if samples come in, we'll potentially purchase it, but we're not going to purchase just on the basis that it needs to be in our collection. Um, we've, there's so many teas out there to find, so we're quite happy to, to um, stock other teas that we love. Okay. Any other questions? Um, best tea for kombucha. Nikki. Ooh, best tea Nikki for Kepper. kombucha. Yeah, yeah. Um, best tea for kombucha, I think you need to go with a darker tea. Um, mm. And I think that from our experimentation, Black teas are good, but you want more of a fruity black tea, uh, mm. I think, rather than the kind of chocolatey and uh, sweet um, black teas. You, I think it's better to go for um, a fruity black tea. Little Tongmu would be a great one. Mm, true. Um, or... Maybe. Um, what about the Amber Gabba? Yeah, Amber, amber Gabba would, would be, be good. So good. Uh, amber Gabba has a kind of potatoey starchiness to it, which would add a sweetness to it, which I think mm. would be quite nice. Um, but I would go for the either dark oolongs or or a fruity black tea. Am I really red? <laughs> you are actually, yeah. <laughs> see, like, I'm really, I can't see myself, so I don't know. Yeah, we but can't see ourselves sign. at all. So we're just staring Let's at a weird tea. black camera yeah. with lights. So Just imagining you guys sitting there with your tea. It is a really <laughs> odd experience actually yeah. going live because you're just staring at uh, you just can't imagine that there are actually people watching. You just yeah, feel like no. you're talking to yourself. But so what are people drinking out there? Um, <laughs> we've got time lag here, so... <laughs> you know. Oh, Mima's around. Nice one. It's um, lovely to see you guys there. Faces that we... Um, uh, and faces and names that we know from the Instagram feeds and from the YouTube comments. Again, guys, I'm really so sorry if I don't have enough chance, enough time to, to answer your, Inst uh, your YouTube comments. I do go back and I read them and I try to answer as much as possible, but things are so hectic at the moment. Um, but please um, don't hold it against us. We love receiving your comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we should do a giveaway of Black Fruit Punch. Yeah! yeah? So Black Fruit Punch, <laughs> we're going to do the same thing, guys. Get your pen ready. We're going to count down. So now I know that there is quite a significant time lag here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take it a little bit easier. Oh, so there's nice. quite nice. a significant time. What? Everyone's answering to your question oh, about the Oh, Lao team. Shan Black. Nice. Love a bit of Lao Shan Black. Fujian Jasmine. Nice. Somebody's Thank drinking you. some Amateur Zero or Gino Stemma. Chrysanthemum. You want to like keep the caffeine low, I get it, that's cool. Um, okay, let's, they're moving too quickly. <laughs> moving too quickly, let's see. Silver Needle, uh, great, from Nepal, nice, nice, nice. I've, I've tasted some Nepalese uh, Silver Needle, good one. Um, Lansang Green, uh, Jeffrey with your Meng Ding Gulu. Ah, Ooh, you like your nice, nice hairy green yellow tea <laughs> thing going on there. 
Um, yeah, love that tea, really, really nice. Some Bao, uh, Bao uh, Zhongshan's uh, Oolong, mm -hmm. some aged Shang Pua's. Lovely. Um, what else do we have? Your phone is ringing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it had to happen. Dian Hong's, guys, you, 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 you guys, you're doing it. You, you, are, you are brewing some good teas. Monocle Boss. Ancient tree, some silk oolong, raw peach or orchid, sour freaking sap, nasty piglet. <laughs> I wish I had some sour sap. I've run out. I don't have any we left. Don't have any we left. don't have any of that stuff. We sold it all. It's like it breaks my heart. Oh man, sour sap. I wish we had some sour sap. Yeah, we really lost rope. Up. <laughs> lost rope. All right, nasty piglet. She just keeps on writing sour sap. Just to rub it in. Sour sap, sour sap. <laughs> Some Gushu, <laughs> Monocle Boss, Angie Baicha. Oh, Wes, moving on to the Jade Star. Nice, nice. You know, it's, it's early in... Uh, where are they again? Uh, Manitoba, I think. Is it? P Pip Killer. Oh. Again, we've run out of Pip Killer. Klaus oh. had some malt geezer. Great Sorry. stuff. I might have to take that. Why? I don't know. No, you don't have to it's take it. It's for work, I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, maybe no, no. it's serious. This is for work. Handmade monkey picked, oh, baked yeah. goods. Okay, so, some great stuff. Right, so we're going to count down. There is a time lag here, okay? So I'm going to count down a little bit slower. But I'm going to count down from 15. And then you need to write, I want... You can write BFP. You don't have to write Black Fruit Punch. So I want Black Fruit Punch. We're going to count down and we're going to start right about now. Okay. 15, 14, 13, 12, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, God, the time lag is so eight, long, isn't it? 7, they're coming in. Okay. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, click it. Click, click. All right. It, yeah. 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 It stopped. Okay, so we've got these ones here. Yeah. So we've got um, good news. We've got Elliot Carter. We've got Hugo D. We've got Adam Greenhouse. We've got Lan Mater. Lan Mater. Um, and we've got Matthew Mitchell again. You made it, Matthew. All right, so here we go. Number three. Oh, who was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry. So one, two, three. Hugo D. Hugo D. We're going to send you a couple of packs of taster packs of black fruit punch. Make sure that you instant, uh, that not instant message us, just message our YouTube channel. It's kind of a bit complicated to find out the way, but just look it online. Send us a message, direct message to our YouTube channel, Hugo D, has to be Hugo D, yeah. and uh, we will um, get your address and send you a couple of uh, packs of Black Fruit Punch. Should we do one more? Yes, let's do it. Okay, ready? We're going to do one more. 15, 14, 13, wait, wait. 12, 11, 10, oh my God, 9, it's freaking out. 8, <laughs> 7, <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. This thing doesn't work. Really okay, doesn't it stopped work. there. Okay, okay, so stop it there. Okay. You need to stop it by clicking that. Okay. Okay, so where did you go? Murph. Okay, so we've got here. So we've got, you need to pronounce that. Mirth Lodewijk, I'm guessing Dutch or Belgian. Mm. Uh, we want, uh, we've got M. Schlichtinger, we've got Jacob, J Jacobo Rodriguez, we've got Marcy Malavese, and we've got Landmater again. <laughs> well done. You're fast. <laughs> All right. Is that six? Did I count six? Uh, where are we? One, two, three, four, five. And Matthew Mitchell again oh manages to get in there. That's crazy. You are spot on with you your timing. Spot on. Okay, here we go. I kind of feel like he should get it, but 
Who is it? It's uh, number two. M. Schlichtinger. M. Schlichtinger. We're going to send you one, um, uh, a couple of packs of Black Fruit Punch. And you know what? Matthew Mitchell. Send, send, us, send us a link. G give him his, it as well, because that's like three times in a row. Aww, that that deserves so a prize just in itself. Okay, so should we do one more infusion of Black Fruit Punch? And then we're going to move on to our last tea. We've been an hour and 15 minutes, guys. The time flies super quick. Um, with, during these sessions really really do yeah. there are 235 of you watching I reckon that that must be something like you know the biggest tea session that's uh, been there for I mean I don't know don't you think what there's 235 been... people watching yeah, yeah, that's drinking big. tea with us yeah that must be that's that must be up there with the biggest tea sessions out there Definitely. is the kettle hot no it's not hot okay it's not hot I'm drinking Sorry. yours otherwise Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The transcript junkie, this Matthew Mitchell guy is a bit sketchy. He's rigging the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he's figured this all out. He's, he, he knows all of this stuff. Um, <laughs> it's so nice of you giving congratulations to everybody. Yeah, that's really sweet. That's really cool. Man, the Tea Head community just blows everyone away. Yeah, it really man. is an incredible community. Any other questions? Um, yes. Let's see I here. want tea bag. Dot. You want tea bag? No problem. <laughs> there are many, many supplies out there that can give you those. <laughs> True that. Uh, any other questions that you've saved up? Yeah. Um, will you guys ever grow your own farm eventually? <laughs> many own farms, etc. I don't think so. I tell you the reason why. Um, because, you know, we've, we have experience with different farmers and sometimes the farms produce amazing tea and then another year it's not so good. And so we move around in a kind of very um, unfaithful way to try and find the best tea possible. Um, and so I'm very well aware, first of all, I, I'm, it's totally out of my depth. Of course, I could, we could learn. It's totally out of my depth. There's so much work. There's so much. It's a whole different thing altogether. But even theoretically, I don't think I would want to because, you know, I prefer to try and hunt the best stuff and curate the best tea rather than trying to desperately yeah. make one farm produce the best tea. Yeah. Should we brew this up? Yeah. That makes sense. Da -da -da. Thank you very much. Any other questions? So, someone's saying month. Midnight Sun is out of stock. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is it out of stock? Oh, gosh. Oh, it is, but it's not. So you can get a pouch. Right, so this is a perfect example. You can buy a pouch, but the, the packs haven't been packed. It's in the warehouse, but you can buy a pouch. Um, and I tell you what I'll do, um, I will make it available for pre-order. So if you want it, then you can um, get it. Um, I'll do that as soon as we've finished. I'll make it available as pre-order. It went, it came out, it went off. And so it didn't save some of the stuff on here. Um, what, what went off? As in, the, it, it, your, the word document. It's okay. Folks. All right. Okay. So, oh, this has been brewing for a while. Um, what's the most sour tea you stock? I think some people answered that already. Sour so tea. Was sour, ta sour sap. Yeah. Sour sap. Yeah. 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 Sap. <laughs> Finished. Never mind. Sour sap. Wow. Yeah. So frustrating because we've really been looking for it for again, but we. And we could only get, we only got such a small amount. Yeah. Such a small amount. That's all that was left though. That was all that was it. left. It was one of those moments where I tasted it. I was like, I want it. Yes, 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 yes. And then they pointed at this small bag of tea and they were like, that's how much we have. I was they like, were like, no, where's the rest? Where's the rest? They were like, no, that's all we've got left. So yeah. we purchased it and then it all went cheers. to you. Um, cheers guys. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Creamy. It's definitely got um, the... Oh, I'm getting a little bit of zesty mandarin or tangerine suddenly. Taste it and, and breathe out through your nose. Sudden little hit of zest, or maybe I'm imagining it. Do you get the zest? I definitely get zest. I'm not sure if it's tangerine. Something very zesty. It's very zesty. It's, it's I'm like... thinking like more grapefruity. Maybe, 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 but it's it's got the zestiness which I yeah. hadn't picked up before. Could be uh, later mandarin. infusions definitely bring out more of the minerality and more of the the um, how can you say it the really uh, the really top end notes the yeah. really 
the bright, bright, bright notes um, mm. tend to, to remain and the body tends to kind of um, get lighter. Yeah. Okay. Yum, yum. Oof, I'm feeling it now. Woo! <laughs> Saturday night. Saturday night. Um... Have you ever considered doing a whiskey and tea tasting? Joe. Yeah, yeah, we're, we've been thinking about that. We've been trying to refine our whiskey tasting a little bit to make sure that we, um, make sure that we, we can really um, do a good video. We've got lots of video plans. There's, our list goes on. You know, it's kind of a funny thing because when we started this YouTube channel, I, I kind of suspected that there would be a, a ceiling that you would hit where you would kind of go, well, I don't know what to say anymore about, you know, tea. I've kind of said everything. Yeah. But it just seems to just unravel into more and more and more. It's a really, yeah. really fascinating. And it, it just goes to show how, how tea is, has so many facets to it, not just taste, but then there's the health, then there's the, there's, there's um, lifestyle aspects of it. There's, there's, you know, the production and the, the stories behind it. Mm. And the, the, you know, the, the, there's, there's philosophy behind it. There's so much, uh, so many different facets of it. And all of them, I find at least mm. really fascinating. Yeah. I also find it amazing because I think that tea somehow is, is an amazing uh, looking glass. Mm. It's like you can look at anything in life and then you kind of, tea can somehow act like a filter and, and you can kind of see things a, that are related to tea in, yeah. in lots of different things in life. Oh, that's true. It's kind of an interesting looking glass to look at the world through um, not just consuming tea, but like using analogies within tea. It's, it's fascinating. And the aspect of it as well, like doing this session, like sessioning a tea has got something it's a journey, isn't it? It's a it's, journey, yeah. It's like micro journeys and then a really big journey. And mm. tea is, has an amazing ability to somehow um, attract mm. everything positive. Yeah. It's a really positive... Um, I don't know what it is about tea, but, but like things that work well with tea tend to be really positive things. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, even though it's got caffeine and it, and, it, and it gives you energy, it's a very different kind of energy to, you know, an energy drink energy, which kind of has analogies and, and, um, and connections with, I think, kind of more negative things and more, more about driving yourself and pushing yourself and exhausting yourself and succeed, succeed, mm. succeed. And, you know, there's something really amazing about tea as a filter, how it kind of somehow, if, if you make tea a center point in your life, it tends to filter out a lot of the crap. It's a really interesting thing. Anyway, I, I went off on one a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but it was, it was interesting. It's the I tea. like it when you go off on one. It's because the tea. You say stuff that's like... All right. You asked, so we're doing it. Oh, lucky you guys. Flute Brewer. If you've not seen the video on this before, um, go check it out. We love brewing with the Flute Brewer. It's such a convenient way of brewing. It's, uh, we have the Connoisseur Tea Brew, which is also a really, really convenient way of brewing. You push the button and you decant the tea and it's amazing. And it was our go-to desktop unit. But mm. there's something about this, that little kind of, um, as Gavel says, the Breaking Bad look to oh, it, yeah, yeah. the laboratory look. There's something about this and the size. It's a really, really nice um, way of brewing. And I think yeah. we, we're I love, gonna... I love holding it. I don't know, it feels... Yeah. It's nice. Um, so we're going to give this one away. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Ready, everybody? Ready. So all you need to do is write flute brewer. Write flute brewer down um, and we, they're already started to come in. No, the delay is not that much. Um, so flute brewer, ready. So we're going to count down, I think, from 15, 14, 13, Try 12, again. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, it still doesn't work. Well, anyways, it stopped that show. Stop there. Okay. Yeah. So, Sherwin. So, you need to pause it there by clicking on that. Sherwin. Okay. So, 
That's number one. Sherwin Chin, scroll down. Oh. Boris Ordo. <laughs> um, Sherwin Chin again, nice, but no, that doesn't count. <laughs> Kim Jansen, Denise Fernandez. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Just for fit. Hi, Rachel. Um, and so one, two, oh. oh. Where's it gone? Ah, uh, this thing. You, you, you lost it now. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Sherwin, keep going up. Keep going. We've lost it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One second, guys. You just, Sorry, you just guys. flooded us with so many. Um, How are we going to do this? This print screen, if that worked, that would be very good. It worked every other time. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Let's do this again. We've got to find Sherwin. You keep scrolling up and see if you can yeah. find Sherwin because that's the starting point. We're not going to go back. That would be something. Yeah, this is what happened earlier. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, dear me. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I think we're, we're, we're getting close now. Have to be careful. Sorry, if guys. If that goes here, then that's it. It's going to go back down. Shit. Where? We're going to get there. You need to stop there. writing it. There. Sherwin. Okay, here we go. Sherwin, Denise, Rachel. Uh, Boris, Boris, Sherwin, Boris, um, Kim, Kim, Denise, Rachel, Sherwin, Boris, Kim, Denise, Rachel, and Christian. Right. We got there. Sorry, guys. We have to figure out how to do a screenshot on this silly computer. The, the double button didn't work. Okay, here we go. Number four. One, two, three. Four. Denise. Denise. Denise Fernandez. Denise Fernandez, you have a flute brewer Lucky. heading your way. Send us a message on the YouTube channel. Okay, last tea. Last tea, because we're up to nearly an hour and a half. Well, I'm, really? I'm happy to keep going, but you know, <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to our last tea. So this tea, again, you have a choice here. Choose wisely, because we will, well, I don't think we can do giveaways on this one. What is so it? basically, yeah. I found in my office that I had some raw pua, some shang cha, some raw pua tea sitting behind some, I, I basically discovered it behind some other tea samples. And I remember being given these by a farmer in about 2010, 2009. Mm. Oh, okay. No, 2010. 2010 it was because they've written 2010 here. In 2010, so seven years ago, I was given this as fresh picked pua and I took it back and it's been sitting aging in London. I have no idea what these taste like. You need to choose. I don't have much information. I know that they're from Jing Mai, so there's Jing Mai tea. Uh, which I love, love Jing Mai. Mm, Jing Mai um, I'm not sure if they're Gushu, but from my recollection, they are from like 150, 200 year old tea trees. So not super old, but still kind of, um, still there and there, there or thereabouts in Gushu material. We have a 2010 and we have a 2009. I love, um, so, I love it how it's like in these little sachet things. <laughs> so they've been sitting in these bags and I literally oh. found them last night just when I was leaving the office, I was like looking around at, at tea samples, trying to do a clear out. And I found these sitting here. And I have to say, they do look really, really good. So 2010 and 2009, which one do you want to try? Which one do you want to try? 2010 or 2009? Let us know. Um, and we will um, brew up that. Should we move the guru out of the way? Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it over. And we're going to just go simple. Go simple. T-boat and a guy one. 2009, 2009. Oh, come on, Daniel. You don't want the 2010. Don't you want the one that's the oldest? 2009, 2009, 2009. Yeah. I mean, okay, I rigged that one a little bit, I, I have to say. Um, but um, <laughs> judging, I'll show you the leaves. Do you have any... Um, Oh, a scoop? 
Uh, maybe do it in these little cups and then we can... Uh, uh, no? Scoop? Good. Should I get a scoop? I don't think we've got any more scoops, so we're just going oh. to do it this way. So they have aged, definitely. I mean, you can really see the age here. Yeah, done in 1964. <laughs> <laughs> Jokers. Oof, uh, that dance song has really... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I know, I'm feeling it. I'm really... Uh, Feeling, uh, so you can really see, mm, can you hold them yeah, so I can, I can, I can do it. Well, which is which? Uh, 2009 is that one. So you can really see they have aged. So London aging might not be too shabby, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> they have really aged quite nicely, mm. it's just in terms of colour. They look kind of similar in Yeah, but that one's, that one's more plummy. Mm, that one's more true. plummy. So we're going to put this one back. In, in terms of colour. In terms of colour, yeah. Right, right. Not sure about taste. I really don't know what this is going to taste like. But we are going to... Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm really excited as well. I'd love to try a new one. And since it's Saturday night... Depends on the quality of the year. Why not compare? We could compare. We could compare, but then we're going to be another hour and hour here. Super too drunk. Okay. Um, well, right. you didn't mess around, did you? That's a lot of leaves, no? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this again. Oh, there is a scoop right behind me. Let's pour some hot water in here. I want to smell. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to smell the leaves. Here, you can take sure. a little look at the leaves again while the water is boiling. Oh my God, there's no more water. Need the water. So the colour of these leaves, I would say, yeah, they've got um, some some kind of taut browns. Um, they've got um, it's it's interesting. It's got kind of a, a shell kind of. How are you going to do tortoise shell? Yes. <laughs> no, but no, no, no. Was, it's it's kind of got. Um, what what colour would you say that is? Okay, so there's more brown though. It's like plum skin. It's kind of got that plum skin kind of like... Um, it's got some silvery hairs on it as well though. Look to it. Yeah. Plum. Like, or or uh, not plum, isn't it? It's not plum. Uh, Interesting. I want to say like snail brown, but that sounds really horrible. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. I was uh, thinking more lizard, lizard, a type of lizard. <laughs> I, don't know. I have to say, out of all the things in the tasting notes that we find that find the hardest to try and figure out, it's colour. Mm. Taste and aroma, for some reason, I can get that much quicker, but colour is, is a lot more difficult for me. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mottled, it's got so many different shades. It's got some plum, it's got some light, it's got a little bit of kind of taut. It's got it's some got, gold. got a bit of gold. It's a, it's a it's nicely... It's like metallic look to it. Yeah. Um, oh, I play piano, I play computer, so we're talking about um, instruments, are we? I yes. play ukulele, nice, ukulele. Yes. Um, really? What is that? Was there a joke up there? I think there was a joke. Someone oh. said a joke. I didn't see. Is it safe to get a tea boat if I get seasick? <laughs> 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 Uh, right, okay, let's put some hot water in here. Oh, be careful, Master Wu. Master Wu. Be careful, Master Wu. Oh, we didn't use any tea pets. Oh, no. Oh, what's that one? Oh, yeah. Go on, then. Let's warm this up. Oh, it's like a buffalo. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay. Go for it. There is a lot of tea there. Yeah, huh? I don't plan on going to bed for a while, so it's okay. Yeah, someone did ask that, like, how are you guys going to sleep? Sometimes we find it very hard to sleep. Uh, we're, we're pretty hyper at the best of times, so yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. This is... Um, it smells quite fruity. I'm really interested by what London ageing does. Oh, nice! <laughs> Your face! <laughs> it's got... It's like a kid in a candy store. It is candy store. It's like vanilla fudge. I meant you, but yes, it does smell very sweet. It's vanilla fudge. It's got kind of that... Um, totally vanilla and fudge. It's, it's got vanilla fudge, it's got some fruit. It's, what about that hard, that hard um, uh, sweet that has like a bit of 
night. Oh. You use white rabbits. No, it's like a brown with some light brown swirls in it, and it's slightly caramelly in taste. I don't know the name. Hum anyway, humbugs. No, Maybe? they're minty. Oh no, it's not. It's got vanilla. It's got a little bit of li black licorice. A very very small amount. I don't smell black licorice. Yeah, have you, go deep. Go deep into it. It's got a little bit of black licorice, tiny bit. And it's, um, but it's definitely got some really nice sweet notes to it. Ooh, it reminds me a bit of the smell of um, my dad's guitar, weirdly enough. The wood of the yeah, guitar? Yeah, the woodiness has a like, that yeah. kind of like guitar. Yeah, some, mm. some... With added, with added Oh, fruit. it's the sweetness though. Yeah. It's crazy. Ooh, that's really exciting. Shoot, 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 rinse. Yeah, give it a rinse. Very, very excited by this. So this is a Jingmai aged 2000 and, um, 2009, aged in London. Oops. We give him water, we don't give him tea. That's very sad. There we go. Okay. Okay. Have a sniff. Oh, very different to the wet leaves, but I, again, leaves. I mean dry leaves. Oh my God, so complex. There's minerality. Werther's. Are you talking about Werther's? Werther's original. Those that can. Oh, yes. Well done. Well done. Yes, thank you. Be free, drink tea. Wow, you're good. No one can really yeah, get Yeah, Raymond, plum skin is black purplish, but it's, it, it, it had like a, a plummy hue to it. It's not quite plum skin. Oh my God, it, it smells like a li liquor, like a sweet liquor of some kind. I, uh, like a syrupy liquor. What is it? Oh. I don't know, you know but I, mean? I like it. It's not, it's not super sweet. I just want to taste it. It's now. so sweet. Wow, who'd have thunk it? Yeah. I mean, I was not expecting anything, literally. Nothing. I'll show you the sticker. Oh my god. So Keep many tea gangster, guys. Keep tea gangster. So many fruitiness. So much fruitiness. What fruits apricot, though? dried apricot, um, dried plums, like kind of like dried fruit. But there's also a, a, a um... what? See, I always get this thing, and I want to say it, and then I just think it's going to sound really bad. What? <laughs> what is like it? skin that's kind of sweaty, but like clean sweat. It's it's like summer holidays, beaches. I know what you mean, but you know? the, the fruitiness kind of overtakes yeah. that. I know what you, you're saying, that the bass note has that kind of, yeah, in the summer, m maybe after being in the, in the sea and keep then you your come mouth, out. Keep your mouth open. If you're smelling tea, smell it with the mouth closed and then smell it with your mouth open, it's different. The, when mouth open, it becomes warmer, it becomes slightly, oh, you, right. slightly saltier, you start to get that suntan lotion beach hot beaches yeah, 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 kind yeah, of totally. note to it okay that's mad <laughs> oh right. my god i'm so red i just saw myself <laughs> i'm pretty red as well you are but like i've got like sunburn on my cheeks or something see it's the hot beach okay i'm really excited to try this so we're gonna go into this no we're gonna go into this okay my computer is going bonkers yeah, tech. Uh, techies. Tech. Oh, we wish you were actually here. It would yeah. make life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. All 235 of you who are watching, we wish you were here. <laughs> Dance classic quote. <laughs> Sweaty but clean skin. <laughs> Next tattoo is a guy one. Nikki. Nikki. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> you need to show us that. So we're going unfiltered. Ooh. It's all right, coconut? No, it's not co... Mm. It's not coconut. <laughs> Mark, almost, we're giving you the munchies. It's almost yeah, got... get that. Uh, I can't put teeth. my finger in it. I can't put my finger in it. It's really annoying me. Um, what, what, a certain smell? There's a smell? certain smell and I keep saying, I keep... Is it like a, is it like a kind of hazelnut um, syrup? It's not There's that. a hazelnut 
thing going on, but no. I, I think this is something else. More it's something specific. else. It's it's also got you know that very sweet fresh rolling tobacco. Um, it's more like maroons than hazelnut. Why are they called that? maroons? Marron. Marron. Chestnut. Chestnut. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, sometimes I can't remember words in English and I'll say in French, but it's very rare. She does it intentionally to look cultured. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so very thick, very, very thick jelly-like consistency. Really, really thick, cloudy, unfiltered. I can see lots of, um, of the, the, the tea hair floating on the top. It is very thick. This is going to be a interesting. Up? I, don't, I think you'll spill it everywhere. <laughs> so much trust in my holding tea ability. Cheers. Oh my God. That's so smooth. So smooth. That's, so smooth. And you know what? It reminds me of a Psychic like Extreme Seeker in terms Shh. of the oot. She just told you the name. You didn't hear that, go on. What did I do? I no, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, yeah. never mind. Anyway, it, it's got like an oolongness to it, you know, like a, a fruity oolongness. So, super smooth. It's so smooth. It's so thick. Mm. But then you get like the sea minerality. Sea. Yeah, there's some some sea salt there. There's like a caramel cre creaminess to it as well. Oh, that's yum. That is yummy. That what do you think about the yummy. sweetness though? I'm trying to work out. The sweetness is changing. there, but no, it's it's like um it's like um like you were saying before, like a kind of Yeah, like a slight toffee fudgy. Yeah, it's a toffee fudgy thing. In the whiskey world we'd probably describe it as oily mouthfeel. Yeah, yes. It has a very oily mouthfeel. Oily mouth mouthfeel. Nice. Um is oh, it, the aftertaste. Breathe out through your nose. Is it anything like the first two you tried, Celine? Which mm. first? Do you mean the one, the first one? The first, first, first one. In terms of like, compared to the fruit punch. <laughs> Black fruit punch. Black fruit punch. No, totally no. different. It's oh, like the first very... one, the bad poor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the bad poor. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's playing with you. <laughs> Cheeky. Wow. All I have to say is wow. I am... Um, Really, really loving this tea. Thanks, David. I like my hair too. Right now, I'll change. Um, Your hairstyle. My hairstyle. It's. Yeah. This is amazing. I still haven't figured out the flavor profile of it, but it's amazing. It does have a, a sweetness, a real sweetness, a lingering oh. sweetness on the sides of your tongue. Yes. I wouldn't call it so much a hui gan. No. It's not that raw, um, young, pua, that kind of bitter to sweet. It's really rounded. It's really matured. Mm. Amazingly, who would have known that Lund, my office... <laughs> Your office <laughs> would <laughs> does some great stuff. If this is how it ages, that's really good. It's definitely got a sweet, a childhood sweet, and I can't work out what it is. Yes, childhood sweet. It has a mintiness, so the hui gan, you know that cooling sensation of hui gan, that slightly minty freshness, it does have that. Mm. It has very little bitterness, almost zero. No bitterness. And the, the texture is oily to dry to juicy. Mm. And the taste is, what is it? What is that taste? This is going to um, frustrate. Is mm, no. I was thinking there's um there's a little bit of that those love heart sweets, but yeah. it's not quite there. It's not quite. It's there. definitely more of a caramel star sweet though for me. It's more caramel, um, but it's not caramel. It's like um, uh, vanillary, slightly nutty, and mm. it's got. It just still has a plumminess to it, mm. but cooked plum. Or dried plum. It's got dried plum. It's got to have cooked plum as well, though. You're right. Is there a big difference between cooked, yeah, cooked yeah. plum and dried plum? Yeah. Yeah. There is. Yeah. But like good plum, really yeah. good. Those squidgy plums, not the hard, chewy More ones. More fragrant ones. Yeah, really, really good plum. It's really good, man. It's this tea is so delicious. Good. 
<laughs> so we, we just see here going, it's so good. All right, so you, you guys, you guys, um, vanilla fudge. Yeah, it is kind of vanilla fudge, but it's some, it's a bit fresh. It's, it's, it's almost kind of got um, a, um, a minty vanilla fudge note to it. Minty vanilla. You know what? There is definitely a freshness to it. Yeah. There that makes me think of like a minty sweet of some kind. I love this because they're it. just throwing out like flavor profiles as guesses. Nougat. Palmer violets, no, but I know that taste. It's not palmer violets. There is a bit of nougat. Nougat. There is, there is nougat. nougat. It's definitely more of a nougat yeah. taste. Damn, no. <laughs> yeah, those, those good plums. <laughs> Kim's just throwing out quotes. <laughs> Yeah, those good plums. Those argan, argan plums. Is it argan? Argan, argan. Argan I don't know. plums. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's argan plums. All right, we're gonna hit this again. Yeah, man. Let's do it. So, how much do we have of this stuff? This oh, is all I've got. I'm feeling a bit like phased out, but not because I'm tired. Like I'm actually really hyped. But I, you know what I mean. Like, do you not feel that a little bit? You know, hazy, hazy, oh, yeah. hazy, hazy. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel good on many levels. Um, um, yeah, nougat is the closest, but still, we we, we need to work. Man, on it nougat, really. that was a good one. Yeah, we still because it's a bit of the nut, bit of the yeah, yeah, kind of simple you. sweetness, and, and then a, creamy a bit of, of fudginess to it. Yeah, fudgy thing. Yeah, that's a good one. Kim, Don's quote. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you do say that a lot. Whoa, this is quite a strong tea. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. But um, might be from the ones before, although I don't think so. It's the entourage effect. What's the entourage effect? The combination of lots of different things. Well, I do think that combining teas definitely gives you a different kind of tea drunkenness. Yeah, well, it would, yeah, definitely. Mm. Make a salad. Make a salad. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, I, did, I did a Gabba and Jade Star salad the other day you're, at work. You're mad. Because we had some left. As Lucy would say, you're sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it when she says that. <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers, what, what are guys. we up to? We're, we're approaching two hours. I think that. Are you guys not bored of oh us? God. 244 watching. We've increased. Yeah. We just go all night. We just go all night. Let's keep going. <laughs> the early birds out there are going, oh my God. So tired. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who have started your day on Sunday, I hope you have an amazing, amazing Sunday. This yeah. has been your tea session wake and bake. And um, for those of you, uh, mm. does it taste of Brazil nuts? Mm. It's got nuttiness, but I don't think it is Brazil nuts. Mm. Christian, combining shrooms and marijuana does that too. The entourage effect. I, <laughs> I believe you. Nougat with minty mocha note. Not so much mocha. I love this. Yeah. I wish you were with me all the time. Yeah, it would be so much easier. I could just taste and go, it's kind of like this. And I just see this barrage of like tasting notes <laughs> yeah. coming in. Um, all nighter. Never stop. Yeah, we'll just go 24 hours. Just, we'll just always be here. Whenever you just dip in and out, whenever you fancy watching us. <laughs> Um, Stay up so there. we don't have much of this tea. This is all I've got, guys. Cheers, Lorenji. Ooh, I'm Cheers. not gonna spill it. Tea party, indeed. You can't really see much, but it's not much. I would estimate it to be about what is that? About um, hundred grams, if yeah. that. If Probably. that, hundred grams. Um, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, come on. Should, what? We should give. We should. We should give should some of this away. away. Yeah, let's give. Let's. Let's look. It's all about the giveaway today, man. It's all about the giveaway. I'm gonna keep a little bit for myself, all right? Because <laughs> this is something. This I really do like this tea. But we'll do. Um, we'll do a giveaway. We'll do yeah. one giveaway of this. We'll do one giveaway of this. Christian, that's so creepy. You want to watch you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Wants to watch me sleep. That's freaky. <laughs> Um, There's an artist that did that with David Beckham a long time ago. I remember that. Really? On the, in a gallery, you see like a massive screen with David Beckham sleeping there. It's very strange, but kind of hypnotizing. Well, <laughs> yeah. if we do 24 hour stream, then we'll just nod off here and then wake up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we, uh, don't, we don't have a name for this. We'll just call it Jingmai. 
J-I-N-G-M-A-I. Perfect spelling. <laughs> Jingmai, okay? So we're going to give away one sample of this where, where, where? to somebody. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. All right, so Jingmai. You need to write Jingmai. Okay, you ready? Now, this time, we, you're going to have to let's, figure out how to... Let's give it a few minutes. This time, you're going to have to figure out how to stop it. Yeah, I have to go basically on I the think scroll. Just click on it? this. Just click on that boom, oh, okay. and then it does it. Oh, See? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's go back to, to this bit. Okay, right. Oh, okay. So, here we go. So, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to get this? 9, 8, Tell him it's stressed out. 7. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you Stop. guys are getting really good at this. Yeah, you're getting really good you're at getting this. You're getting really good going, at this. Do, 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 do. It's just when we get to two, one, something, poof, it, yeah. it, Okay, so we're gonna have to start here. Yeah. So we've got just for fit, Rachel did it again. She did it again. And Guess sure. Guess sure. Guess sure. Um, and Kayla Fisher. Kayla. You know what? Okay, we'll do it this what? way. Kayla Fisher, Jacobo Rodriguez did it again. These guys are getting good. We're gonna have to have a different system. <laughs> uh, Rabbi Robert and Darren. Um, oh no. Okay, he he didn't write Jing Mai, but he said personal rarity. I, I guess we'll we'll go with that. Hey. No, 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 come on. Hey. Let's not be. All right, so I tell you what we're going to do with this one. Okay. We're going to pick two, right? Two but winners. We're only, no, 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 we're only going to give away one. We're going to pick two, and then you guys can compete with each other. Oh. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, you ready? So, number, number one, one, Rachel. Rachel's in the, in the contention, and... Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Darren. Rachel and Darren. Are you guys You ready guys for this? are through to the final round. <laughs> okay, so Rachel and Darren. Yep. You guys are through to the final round. So what we're gonna do is Oh Mother Pie, I'm sorry. Maybe next time you'll get a giveaway. So I'm conscious of the delay. So if you can hear me, Rachel and Darren. Rachel and Darren, okay. For a moment, chat room, just for a moment, we need to like, just chill it out a little bit because I'm gonna ask a question to you, Rachel and Darren, and the one who is closest to the right answer will win a sample, a nice 10 gram, you know, sample of oh, that's nice. the Jingmai 2009, okay? So, Rachel, just for fit, that means just for fit, and Darren, you ready? So, you can only answer once, right? Only once. You can't, like, send me loads of answers. If you do, disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like this. You do. Okay, so, <laughs> I always wanted to be a game show host. You would be uh, really, really good at it. Okay, so, Rachel and Darren, I'm going to ask you one question. You get one answer. Are you ready? Closest wins. Ready? Which month is Mishkin's birthday? <laughs> Which month is Mishkin, our cat's birthday? So you need to give me a month. Keep a look out here for Darren and Just For Fit. And whoever is closest will win. Okay, so we're waiting for you because there's going to be a bit of a delay. Oh my Let's see. goodness. Just get ready. Who's going to be the closest? Get ready. Go, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you, you catch it. Yeah. I'm nervous. Okay, so now it's coming through. <laughs> this is, My God, this the lag is pause. so long. The pause is there. Come on. If it's Bruce and... Oh, oh whoa. The Where? smell of the empty Gongda Bay is really raisiny. Really raisiny. Okay. April. You both said what? April. Okay, you both said April. That doesn't really work. Then. Okay, so... <laughs> you both said April, so you can have another go. You yeah. can have another go. This have one a, more go. You've got to say different things. It's a draw. We need a, we need... <laughs> you both said April, that's a draw. Guess another one. <laughs> guess again. Guess again. This didn't work. Come on, guess again. <laughs> this is uh, so funny. Oh, someone Adam writes Cat Semba. 
Du, 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 du. Wow, it smells of of of, it smells of, of delicious. Of actually. really lovely raisin liquor. Mm. Oh, slight coffee notes to it, just like very very light coffee notes as well to it. Mm. It's really delicious. Wow, I'm gonna oh, age wow. more stuff in my office. That's for sure. Oh. Smells a bit of it like a okay. Any, a, anything pencil. coming in? Shut up the batch. <laughs> Shut up the batch. <laughs> Nola, hey, Nola's in the house. <laughs> she wants us to give it all. Okay, so Justin Fitz says March. Darren says September. September. Oh! The actual answer is October. Da, da, Darren, da. Darren, you're gonna get ten grams of this tea. Um, and we'll send it over to you. Message us on YouTube and we will send that over to you wherever you are. So oh, I feel Rachel. so oh, sorry, sorry for Rachel. You know what? Forget it. Rachel, we will send it to you as well. Just for fit. Send us your details. We'll send it to both oh. of you. Okay, so that's it. You're both going to get some Jing Mai 2009. You can't help yourself. I can't. This is really dangerous. We should not do this ever again. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'll just give oh away everything. My God. This is why we don't end up with any tea left. <laughs> Not any of our good tea left. But so, this is good. This is just good. for fit, Rachel and Darren, send us uh, your details and we'll send over some 2019 yeah. Mai. Please bear with us. It won't, we won't be sending it for, for about a week because we've got lots of stuff to do, but it will eventually get over to yeah. you. All Thanks right, for guys. Games, man. 245, 245 people watching. Um, but we've been coming up to two hours. Should we do one more quick infusion and then we're going to be signing off. Any other questions that you have? Yeah. Um, please send over your oh. last few questions. <laughs> that is the Oprah of tea. That's so cute. The Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. he really can't help himself. He's really so nice. Tea head. The little Bambi has tea leaves growing out of his antlers. That's a tea head sticker. We got lots of stickers here. We had fun making these. Yeah, I, I really, yeah, really did. We had lots of fun making these. That's cool. So, any My last gosh. questions? Matthew, you got that sticker. Which one? The, uh, the, um, which one did I just show? The deer one. The, uh, nice. Oh, nice. Stick it somewhere. Let us know. What's a good tea for cool autumn months? Mm, more like oolong teas, like yeah. midnight sun is good. Baked goods would be good. Will this be uploaded? I hope so. Last time YouTube wiped the video. And so I don't know what's going to happen when we switch this off. It may happen um, again, in which case we can't, but we'll try our best. Um, Thanks, Paul. To upload it. The artwork thing. So guys, thank you once again for joining us. We're going to try to do these May Leaf sessions. We'll try to do them once a month if possible. Um, we, we're tentatively saying we'd like to do it the first um, Saturday of every month, mm. but don't hold us to that. We, we're going to try our best though. Mm. And this tea, oh, it's it's changed. It's changed. It's changed. Interesting. Uh -huh. Now it's starting to get the huigan. Yeah, now the huigan's through. coming through. Yeah, it's like those layers have, have 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 gone off, and you've got that that minerality moving to sweetness. The huigan's definitely there. Yeah. What's a good tea for diabetes? Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Well, a lot of the research has been mostly on green tea, but then I have to say that there's a bias towards green tea research because I think scientists just kind of think that that is generally the most. Mm. Um, kind of health giving tea because of the EGCG in it. So I don't know if that means it's definitely the best, but certainly most of the research has been done on diabetes and it definitely does. Um, there is evidence to show that it helps to control um, blood sugar spikes. So it can kind of um, even out or smooth out uh, blood sugar spikes. Yeah. Can we get these stick stickers? The stickers are yes. available. When you place an order, you will be give, given random stickers. Um, so when you uh, get your order, you will get some stickers in there. We um, have no control over which one you get, so please don't start asking us to, for, for certain ones. But we will be giving stickers and we will be um, producing more of them. And let us know, you know, show us some pictures of where you, you stick yeah. them. That would be really, stick them really, really good. Okay, mm. everybody. 
we're going to be signing off soon. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you, you for joining so us. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. 250 people joining us having a tea session. That is something amazing. Tell your friends. Spread the word. You know the score. Spread the word. Let's make this an even bigger one. By next, yeah. this time next year, we want 1,000 people in the chat room. Yeah. All drinking tea, all having fun, and, uh, and you know, having a, a massive, massive tea session. Yeah. Um, this is a great way to spend a Saturday night for us. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Wow, love. What? You said love. I did. Wow, she loves you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not to love. What's not to it's love? Just, I get it. I get so it. Nice. No, we're feeling. We're feeling the love feeling right now. Love. Feeling the love right now. Mm. Yeah, the stickers are new, so they've just started to be put into rotation. So if you didn't get it in your last order, they will be coming yeah. in new ones. Uh, Nikki, I'll see you soon, um, and uh, we're gonna have oh, a tea yeah. session together. Sweet. Um, so, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you do, for all of your comments, all of your questions, for joining us. Thank you Amazing. to the people who did the super chat, guys. Thank you so much for donating mm. some money to us. Really, yeah. really appreciate really that. Kind. Thank you for, for for being constantly, you know, pushing us to improve. Um, constantly pushing us to, to make sure that we are um, stepping up our game. That's what we try to do every day. Um, and, uh, you know, as she says, we love you guys and we hope that you have an amazing, amazing Saturday, if it's still Saturday where you are. Yeah. If not, Sunday, have a great weekend. Yeah. Keep drinking that good stuff. Make sure that you send us some Im uh, images of where you're posting, that where you're sticking True. those stickers, what you're drinking. Send us. We, we love. love we love so cool. seeing uh, what you're drinking, um, and um, we will sign off. And we will see you probably in about a month. Right. I'm going to get this. We're going to do it every month. You think? I think we'll do it. Yeah, every month. That's 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 the plan. Sounds good. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks, guys. Big hug from London. Stay safe out there if you're um, in the safe. hurricane. Stay yeah. safe. And uh, we will uh, give you one last cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.